Hello, my name is Leonardo and I'm from Maximo Con, a consultancy company specialized in IBM Maximo. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable and see audit information from locations. We need to go to the system configuration, platform configuration and the database configuration application. We need to enable audit in locations. Audit is not enabled. All I have to do is click here on this flag. I could also add a where clause to work as my e-audit filter. Record only records for Bedford. I could put something like site ID equals to Bedford. That means that this table will log audit records against the site Bedford only. Next, I need to enable audit per attribute status and let's say description. I expand my row and audit enable. The same for a status field, audit enable. I could also enable a e signature. That means that a window would pop up in my screen requesting me to retype my password and add a comment, a memo, for the reason of the change. But that's not the case. Let's just save the record. Now, I need to go back to the list view. Let me check the object to be changed. Now I have to select action, apply configuration changes. I don't need to activate admin mode. Start configuring the database. This is a sample of the electronic signature, the e-audit. Max admin. I just, <laughs> I just said my password out loud. Please don't try to use my Maximo, okay? Don't worry, this is an isolated version of Maximo inside a VM. Um, enabling audit for locations, okay? You started at a database configuration, blah, blah, blah. You refresh status until we have the config to be completed without errors. The database configuration is complete. You can view the log file to see the detailed status. That should do it. Let's open my SQL from locations. Yeah, here, here we go. We have our audit table. Now we need to insert audit records, but before I will provide you with something that can be very useful. That is here. I don't need to change the application, locations. I'm going to configure my locations application to show the audit information in a new tab, okay? For that, I need to create a new relationship to have the same name as the audit table, locations ID equal variable locations ID, custom relation, sorry, relationship to show audit records on locations application. Okay, that's the goal of this small change. My record is saved. Now, the final step is to go to system configuration, platform configuration, and we have the famous application designer in Maximo location. This is the name of my application. I want to show my audit records in a tab, as I said, so for that we need to, let's clone, copy and paste, so I can use an existing tab, so I don't need to put all the sections and headers and etc. Label audit, this is my audit, I will reuse this header, that's why I'm cloning this tab. 
deleting the contents here down below that I don't need. One thing that I need to do definitely is to remove this data source ID, which is leading me to another table. Audit. Let me save my application. I recommend you to save it often. And now I need to add a table and the columns, table column, two, three, four, five columns. I'm going to click in my table configuration and I need to put my relationship, which is the same that I created minutes ago. And uh, the input mode is of course really only. You don't want the users to change all this information, right? And I need to set up each of my attributes. Audit timestamp. You can search for the attributes here if you like. Audit user name. This is the type, which is a letter showing if it's like I, U, or D. Insert, update, or delete. And then status and finally description this is all I have to do as you can see we still have invalid bindings this is because the UI is not refreshing my new definition automatically but that's not a problem I can just exit the application enter again click on audit and I can see that I did that Little mistake, it audit username. Now it seems correct. Let's double check. Audit, okay. Now everything seems okay. Assets, locations, create a new location for Bedford. Test, test. Audit lock testing audit for locations. The type is operating, the decided bad for, and we have the status operating. Let's see if it works. Yes, here it is. We have the timestamp, the username, the type which is insert. I'm just inserting this record, the status, and the description. If I change my status here, to active. Let's keep it working. I have the new record. Let's say that I change my description. As you can see, I have my timestamp, my username, my type, status, and description. As you can see, we have all the information that we need to see what has been changed in this application. Of course, if I delete this record, I will have a new line not here but in the database with the D showing that the record was deleted but you cannot see here anymore or oh, if you need that you can let's say you can put a new action here a new dialogue here to show you all the audits for all the objects or you can just use the database to see the information here all right it's up to you of course this is based on your needs that's it I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, please add a comment below, like the video if you think this was helpful, subscribe to our channel because we have two new videos every week, maximum technical videos like this one, and also functional information tips and tricks, alright? Thank you very much for your time and see you later!